Welcome back to another episode of I Never Liked You with Nick Smith and Mateo Lane. And today we are talking about aliens. Now, my I, nipple is about to pop out. You, both of us are, have a, our low moment. V neck sort of. Uh, There's a very Liza top. Oh, it's wonderful. Right, we can't do too much, Liza. It's Why? Too much. What if I do the whole thing as Liza? Do you think people will be upset about that? Some would. Right. Of course. Lizzo would. Lizzo. <laughs> Still our number one fan. Um, this okay. So, do you? Be, we'll just start easy. Do you believe in aliens? I do. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. It's mm, go it's ahead. Complicated. Why? I don't think that we are the only living beings in the galaxy. That's just impossible. There are obviously other living beings. The galaxy or universe? Both. <laughs> Is there a difference? God, be shitting me. The Milky Way galaxy is the universe, right? They're not different because there's multiple galaxies. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so all the galaxies are in the universe. <laughs> Come on. Am I using universe correctly? In the uni- yes. <laughs> the universe is like the... the- the universe and galaxies live within the universe, and then within the galaxy are solar systems, and within yeah, the solar systems, that's are what I said. Anyways, okay. we can't be the only living beings in all of that. Do I think that there have been aliens on our planet, or alien sightings, or abductions? I don't know if I believe that. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I believe when people are like, "Well, I will tell you what, I saw something come on my lawn, and I says, hey, Sparky, get out there! I ain't know what I'm seeing right now.' Then they took me up in their spaceship, and we made love. Now I'm here. <laughs> you have one job. And not You're in the all getting of, a 16 minute podcast. Not in the middle of my act out. I am obsessed with this show on YouTube. It's called The Y Files. And it's fun because it's this guy. He's like this nerdy white guy. And he's got a little fish that like kind of heckles him. It's called Hecklefish. It's a car. Anyways. So, but he does all these like weekly. Have you ever seen Y Files, Chris? He does weekly shows ba- like Loch Ness Monster, ba- like I was going to say The Bear for Contessa. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say Bigfoot. <laughs> Welcome back to the Y Files. People think that this woman in the Hamptons, they've seen her in the forest. All of a sudden, in 1978, they heard this. Now, I do believe Jeffrey is an alien. No, Jeffrey, I, first of all, let me just say this about the Bigfoot Contestant and Jeffrey. I truly believe they're in love. I know everyone jokes that Jeffrey's I'm, gay. I'm sure they're in love. And because, because she's got a million gay friends, but and that's the like that is relationship goals. Is like we're just living in the Hamptons. I'm going into my garden. Jeffrey's gone for the week. He comes back on the weekends. We have chicken. Yeah, it's gone done. to his galaxy. Okay, Nick. Universe. But here's if the thing. But aren't you interested? Universal like, in Florida. Mm. <laughs> I've never been I've never been to Disney World I went when I was like three so I don't remember it but don't you think it's interesting they're having like all these congressional hearings with people who are in the government who are now coming out and saying like yes these we have these videotapes of UFOs and they've got all these like military people coming out now and saying you have no idea that's happened did well you? didn't the Mexican government come out and like show the aliens they found and then it turned out to be cake I don't know if it was cake. If they were on cake wars with didn't, those aliens, I would say it wasn't good enough. I didn't make that up. Anyone? No, watching, but they did. No, they didn't. But I remember seeing a clip where like someone bit into it. I remember the aliens that they presented, right. but they were not. I don't think they were cake. I thought I saw an episode. An episode. I thought I saw a clip where someone bit into it. Did they bite into it? Chris can't even find. Do it Do you fast think enough. we could eat other aliens? We you know eat cows. Yeah, but I don't think that I don't no. I don't I don't think anyone's discussing that. If anything, they'll probably I'm be, discussing it. I think they would be harvesting us. They would be eating us. Do you think us. they could eat us? I don't. If they could eat us, why couldn't we eat them? Well, maybe they're vegetarian. Maybe that they're so uh you know, highly intellectual beings that they understand that eating meat is wrong and that they're vegetarian. I just picture that blue woman from the fifth element just like <laughs> Chowing down on my calves. Doesn't that exactly how it went? No. 
you sounded more like Lizzie McGuire and <laughs> raised her voice. <laughs> la, la, la. Wouldn't it be amazing if in the fifth element, would it not be, Chris, see if we can try and edit this together. Wouldn't it be amazing in the fifth element, the blue alien comes out. Opens her mouth. And, and Bruce Willis is watching. Hillary Duff's And voice. first she does, I think voice. she's singing Traviata, right? No, Lucia di Lemmore. And she, and then all of a sudden she's like, la, 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 scene in the fifth element instead of the aria she sang the diva dance well bruce willis wouldn't even remember it at this point oh nick we're just poor bruce willis poor bruce willis. i do feel bad for bruce willis because there too. was like a couple years that what a movie he, star he is a movie star that's a movie star and, and that is a movie well we don't have movie stars anymore i mean no, i think people are too we have some but people are too accessible he is a movie star uh, but anyway aliens so don't don't you think that like obviously if like the military and military personnel and F-16 fighters are coming out and they're like, hey, we what see these words things. are you saying? Like an F-16? You know what an F-16 is? Like a F... That's like a bingo number. Oh, no. B-I-N-G-O. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost... <laughs> Here's the... Th let me... Okay, let me defend Nick a little bit. Nick knows everything about... Like, okay. Tell us where Davina is right now. Probably in Germany filming another season of that <laughs> show, Auf Deutsch. Who won? Or best, learning a different language. Who won language best to be actress last show. year at the Academy Awards? Michelle Yeoh. See, Everything, everywhere, all at once. Th who won best actor? Who cares? Yeah, that T T. <laughs> oh you no, it was Nick, the guy that played Tarzan. But you know that Nick also knows everything about the Olympics because Nick is a big Love. Olympic fan. So, yes. Love. Knows everything I need about to the meet Olympics. Simone Biles. Simone, I know you're not watching, but please. She's offended that you didn't know how to spell bingo. Someone sent her this clip because I need to meet her. I can't. Anyways, military personnel who for a long time would not speak up about the things that they saw. A lot of the camera footage has come out now of these like Tic Tac is what they're calling them. Tic Tac UFOs. They look like the shape of a Tic Tac and they can move at any speed. They can go underwater. They can do all this stuff. And they did this. But how are people seeing them if they're the size of a Tic Tac? Well, they're not the size of a Tic Tac. They're shaped like a Tic Tac. Do you see what I'm so saying? So they're round. That's the shape of anything. A bean. You think a bean is flying a pill. at the speed of light? Well, no, you just said it's not the size of a Tic Tac. It's no, but the shape. The, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Anyways, they came out, they had all these like congressional hearings, and they're basically saying, they call them UPAs now. They're basically saying, we don't know what they are. Some of them could be classified. What does UPA stand like, for? Like uh, unidentified, what is it? Unidentified plane? Unidentified people aliens? People aliens. <laughs> they, they used to call them unidentified flying objects, and now they're called UPAs. Oopa. Opa? No, UPA, oop, it's a joke. Oh. What is it, Chris? But anyways, you don't, so you don't think that... that Again, there's some I, kind I don't of... necessarily know if I believe in all the spottings or if aliens have been here. I do think that there are other living beings out there. What would you do if you were walking at night in your hometown of Crystal New Melford, Meth, Pennsylvania. And all of a sudden, a green light shows up and aliens approach you and they say to you, Alphaba? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Cynthia? Imagine aliens. Where's Ariana? <laughs> imagine aliens see you and they say to you, Hi. You know, they would be very disappointed when they got me on the plane <laughs> and prodded my brain. No, but they're okay. They're going to say to you, they'd go, this bastard us, doesn't even know American history. What they, are we getting they would from say, him? Take us to your leader. What would you do? How would you react if you saw a UFO land in front of you? I'd take him to Oprah. <laughs> they want the leader. Maybe she's it. But how would you respond? How would you respond if you saw a, a UFO land in front of you? Probably how I respond on roller coasters. You would just. They just. They're shooting me up in the sky, and I'm like. And then they just drop. They're like, this isn't worth it. Just drop him. Drop him. We'll, we'll find someone else. Anyone. 
We need another Nick. Nick Jonas. Someone get a piece of cake. We'll bait him on the plane. I just think that Nick, you guys understand that Nick is so scared of everything. There's times that pigeons fly by us. I was showing an apartment once and a pigeon (laughs) flew into the apartment. And when I say I turned to stone, I couldn't talk. I couldn't move. And the buyer had to take action and trap it in the bathroom and get it outside. And I still was... Frozen. Frozen. I was the Tin Man in Wizard of Oz. Which came out in 1939. Thank you. Um, Frozen. Scared of everything. (laughs) And I would be scared of aliens. Although I do want to know what they look like. Well, that's the thing is they say there's all different kinds of aliens. Well, of course. So they say there's the gray aliens. It's like in Marvel. There's different creatures... So right. Of course, they're going to so look the, the different. The grays are sort of like what we know, what we see, what we see, so like, like the big, big black, black eyes. eyes. But they had a really interesting documentary. I don't remember what country it was in. Maybe it was in South Africa, but it was a bunch of kids in a playground and uh, or at school, and a, a UFO landed, and there were two aliens, and the kids all have the same stories everyone has the same exact stories yeah, they all probably and as adults the same tv show. no as adults today they all still share the same story they're like yes we saw that that's what we saw they all asked to do drawings separately they all drew the same thing two of the girls said that they felt like you know they're what being if you communicated can't draw? to <laughs> i w- would you think people believe you like okay let's say that happened to you and you call me what are you going to say? I couldn't even get you to believe someone was trying to sell pictures of me. So I don't think I would get you to believe <laughs> but that just try. I saw Okay, I alien. pick up, hi, Nick, what do you want? I have something important to tell you. What? I just had an experience with an alien. I can't go into detail. Why can't you go into because detail? Because they have threatened... <laughs> To kill me and my family and the people closest to me, which is why I'm calling you. This is not... Because it doesn't matter. Are they Italian? This doesn't sound like an alien. They are from Jersey. They are part of the mafia. (laughs) They have threatened my livelihood. Nick, this is the only alien voice I can do, which is Stitch. Nick, we have (laughs) questions. Imagine if Liza played Stitch in the live action remake. Oh, Hannah, it means family. And family, well, it means no one's there, <laughs> especially your mother who's addicted to cocaine. Okay, hold on, let's get back to it. Okay. Nick, we have taken you aboard our ship. <laughs> what do you want from me? We need to know. Our planet is going to die. We have Why? lost all of our resources. Why? We, we just <laughs> let me finish. My... I need the information, otherwise I can't help. I'm asking you, who can help us? Can you come to our planet and help us? Because you on Earth have so much green and so much water. I don't eat vegetables. I'm sorry. I have no green. That's good. You protect your planet. You protect the green on this planet. So can you come help us? When you say green, do you mean the devil's lettuce? Because I don't have that either. I know where you could get it. You're an idiot. (laughs) You're uneducated. If I come. When was World War I? Even we know. (laughs) Now, to be fair, it's like saying the World Series, and it's only America. World War would indicate that we're warring with other worlds. So I would say to them, World World War I? No, that's incorrect. A world war. In other words, it's not saying the French-Indian War. It's not saying the Revolutionary War, the Civil War. It's saying a a war that involves a lot of countries So it should be called world. Earth World. Earth War 1 because it's only Earth. World War 1 indicates we're fighting other worlds. So if they asked me when World War 1 was, I'd flip that table and I'd say, "Hasn't happened yet." Or has it? We we are disappointed in you. 
We could have sucked up other women to this ship and brought them to paradise, and instead we pulled a seven-foot-tall lady-esque... Wait, ask me again. Take us to your leader. Take us to your leader. Mr. Sterling, he is my (laughs) right-hand arm man. Mr. Sterling is my everything. His confidant, his friend... His silly rabbit. His what? His silly rabbit. Does he call you that? No. Barbara Walters is... No, that girl who did the interview, she is the closest thing we have to an alien. She didn't talk human. Celine, I just want to ask one more time. Why were you not attractive when you were younger? (laughs) She literally asked Celine beyond that. could be an alien. No, Celine's from heaven. She's an angel. All right, we have so one minute left. So what? How don't we don't belong in heaven? No. How do we? How do we end this? UAP means unidentified aerial phenomena. Oh, UAP. It's UAP. Got it. You idiot. <laughs> UIP. You unidentified idiot aerial phenomenon. Wow. Phenomenon's P. PH. Balance. Balance. Bar. <laughs> Bar what was stool, your education? Sports, sports Olympics. Anyways, I think that there's aliens. I just I don't think it's as cartoony as we'd like to think. But there's of definitely it's not as UFOs. I mean that that's kind of hard to. Would you go with the aliens if they came down and were like, "We want you to come with us. We're looking for up and coming stand ups to <laughs> enter our world I, and can make I people be laugh." Like, can I call my agent? My agent can work this deal out. I don't know what the tax situation is on Mars. No. It's you answer now or we kill you. No. You wouldn't go. I don't No think one so. would miss I'm, you here. I'm... Go try it somewhere else. Thank you for watching and <laughs> <laughs> Thought I had a nip slip. Thank you for watching and listening to another episode of our podcast. Please leave a review and like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.